What's up, everybody? At 84 here, Wicked Explorers. We're here at uh, Marina in Chelsea, Massachusetts, which uh, I haven't been to in probably, at this point, 20 years. Uh, my father used to keep a boat down here. It's the Admiral Admirals Hill Marina. Um, it's right on the kind of Chelsea, uh, Everett Chelsea line. And he had a boat here for over 10 years. But the last time I was probably here was 2000. And um, I was in the neighborhood. I think I checked by and see if anything's changed. And there's some things that changed. For example, these buildings behind me were here uh, 20 years ago, last time I was here. Um, path is still, everything's the same. Everything kind of, you know, obviously they did some maintenance and updated some stuff, but, you know, there's still two gates to the docks and there's still, uh, you know, the building that was the office. Uh, there used to be a restaurant. Yeah, there's not too many the restaurants there anymore. I'm going to try to drive around the other side if I can see anything. But uh, yeah, this is it. So pretty much looks exactly alike. I don't know if they added any slips. Do you want of slips look like the same? Um, it's, it's pretty cool. I just want to take some pictures and reminisce a little bit over here. It's been a while. It's January, so not a lot of people are on a boat. I'll tell you that much. But uh, it does look like they connected the slips. Interesting. Before, see, there's a red gate and there's a blue gate. And they were completely separated. But it looks like they added a walkway so it doesn't matter what gate you go in there, which is pretty convenient, I guess, if you have friends in the other gates. I remember we used to know people who are in the red gate, and you couldn't get to them. If you're in the blue gate, you have to follow someone coming up and getting the gate for you. So let's go. See, this is the Admiral's Hill Marina. I think it's about $155 a foot to keep your boat here, if you want to keep your boat here. Um, but it's really convenient. Literally, you go out that way, and you take a left, and you're under the Tobin Bridge, and you're in the Boston Harbor. So it was a great location. Um, it's a quiet little area over here, too. So it's pretty nice. So... Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll take a few more pictures and uh, leave any comments or uh, questions below. And let me know if you know anything about this or if you have any uh, information about it. So, thanks guys. So we're on the other side of the marina. Behind me over there is where we used to keep the boat. Occasionally we kept the boat there. Um, I remember a couple seasons he kept it there. That's boat yard pretty much. You could pay to store the boat there for the season. There's a little walking path that takes you over there. And that's where you can do all the work and you can wrap it up and you store it and all that stuff. So behind me is the main building, that blue building right there. So that used to have showers and like I think storage and lockers in the bottom pot, back bottom pot for people who had boats there. Um, I remember the bathrooms and stuff were there, and I also remember on the front side, facing the water, on the lower level, there was a couple stores, and that was where the marina office was. The marina office seems to still be there. The store's not there anymore, um, so that's a little different. And upstairs used to be a restaurant, and the restaurant changed names multiple times over the years. Um, it was pretty good food, and we used to go there occasionally after we went on the boat on like a Saturday or a Sunday or whatnot, but now it looks like it's all commercial space. There was a deck, I believe, on this side right here that they had taken off. 
Um, and it looks like it's just all commercial space there now. The marina, so. And of course, this building behind me wasn't here 20 years ago, the last time I was here. But all these buildings were, this building was here. Uh, I remember this building, looking through binoculars on the boat one day and, and looking at this building and seeing uh, the vending machine in there. I don't know why that's interesting to me, but it is. But other than that, everything pretty much stayed the same. Um, not much changed in 20 years, to be honest with you. They've definitely updated and kept it up, which is nice. And it's always like kind of cool because it was like a dead end over here. So it was nice to have your boat here because you don't have any wigs and you're just hidden away. The only thing is, during the day, you hear the trucks. That's all like the, the uh, you know, big fruit center and you know factory center and all that stuff over there. So it makes a lot of noise. But uh, at night, it's not so bad, you know. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe. Leave any comments or questions below. And we'll get back to you after that. Have a good one. Bye.